There's a street rat. I've already chosen a matchmaker for her. Dear young rich report, doesn't matter. Are you still living in your medieval era? Haha. Uh -huh. I've been taking care of this family for the whole time when you don't give a shit. Such an incompetent like you should not ruin her future. You are ruthless. Oh my god. Gonna you hold your carrot plushie tight. <laughs> Why would you hit so- <laughs> Hello? Jesus fucking Christ! Oh! He foreshadowed it and they still fucking got me. You totally meant to poke the eye. Alright, get to a tree. Just like Tarkov. Alright, where's my fucking goddamn train? <laughs> Fuck! Jesus Christ! I didn't want you following me all the way out here. Holy fuck! Oh my god! Why? Holy shit. <laughs> like, I... Find the number four house. Is there numbers on any of these doors? I will what the fuck was that? Wait, oh, whoa! What are you? Oh fuck, it just moved again. It's moving and I don't know where it goes. Whoa! Alright, I need to get out of this room. That's what we need to do. And that's what we're gonna do. Back slowly out. Oh, it just moved. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck that thing right in its goddamn face. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I don't like the creepy crawly super fast and. <laughs> No. It just popped in. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Oh, the screeching. I didn't even fucking see what happened. <laughs> fuck you. Anything behind it? No. The egg. <laughs> Savor the agony. There will be none left to banish me a third time. A third time? Damn. Oh, you fucking moved. <laughs> I've been called many names by your kind. How do I drop a fucking item? V, okay. I'll pick it up later. Oh, Jesus Christ! Yo, fuck it, mul <laughs> mullet mulligan over here. My God. Now she's gone. What about you? Do you have any news? Preferably good news. Nope. Fire fireworks, just like you said. That's good. Now we have a chance. We can do it. I called the police. 
I don't know where you are right now. So I gave them my address. Bye -bye. <laughs> my to see you from. Try Which all I everyone all the way over here by the <gasps> Hey God. Oh, that noise was nails on chalkboard. We don't want to be exposed for too long. Is this man asking me to go streaking? I might do it. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Dude. This fucking guy's like, I'm 80 years old, and he runs like he's fucking 15. Holy shit. The hello? Hello? I have to leave the doors open so I know where I've been. Ooh. What the fuck? Oh, you got fucking shanked. Oof. Alright, we'll go the other way. Poor guy. I'm on so on edge right now. <laughs> the fucking spider. We can only go down. And to the lower levels we go. Ooh. Holy fuck. Loud. There's a number on the back of that. Number on the back of this dude too? No. Nope. Okay, it's not that. Fuck. All right. Fine. 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 I'll go here. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. This is just like work. <laughs> That's what makes it a horror game. That was uncalled for. The safety door at the front of the train should be open now. Ah. Fuck, <laughs> oh, man. Holy fuck not. Does no one else ever have some... What's that? Why is the music getting intense? I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. Okay. South mine, South mine spelunking. All right, well let's do this weapon mission first, huh? Let's go get a new fucking weapon to go down into a scary fucking mine with armed guards. All I have is that mini gun on the back. Let's go head up there. That looks like fun. Uh. Oh my god! Epileptic, you motherfucker. I didn't even realize that that was a fucking blurb. It was so delayed in the chat when I looked over it wasn't there. I guess that's a page. What's that noise? Stop hitting train run on you, Jug? I'm trying. What is that fucking- <laughs> Chris, what is that? Oh my god, no! I'm sorry, I just had to see that clip. Uh, that one was really got me good because I was like, I'm nowhere near where Choo Choo Charlie is going to be. Choo Choo Charles. And something else was in there. Hello, everybody. Hope you're all well. Um, and yes, we do need a cool down. That's why I made one. <laughs> I told you assholes for weeks, weeks. 
it would happen. And you all tried to call my bluff. Not today. I see. <laughs> yes. Just realized it. <laughs> Hope you're all doing well. You ruined my Xmas. You didn't even celebrate Christmas. Come on. Did I just hear a fly? Oh, it's the goddamn game. I can hear the audio, but you guys can't. I fucking mute it in Windows, and the second I switch, like, scenes, it just goes, like, on again, so... Oh, wait, I bet I could do that. Ha! Ah, there we go. Excuse me, I accept gifts. <laughs> I know who's who. I have a teriyaki memory. Yeah, it's... Dude, same. And you're not in here very often, because I stream very late, so I totally get that you would not recognize a name not even mad bruh i could still be annoying uh i know jug 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 nigh the horror guy oh my god <laughs> you're never annoying candy stop being nice <laughs> i'm kidding hi my name is jug i accept souls i mean they're pretty they're pretty lucrative you know they, that whole business and collecting souls and i can sell them to satan when he gets here it's not bad he pays a pretty hefty amount technically every soul i just say is mine and i'm like i totally sell my soul to satan and then he pops into the chat and he's like yes what can i get you and i'm like hmm let's get to 750 followers for a vr horror stream Dr. John, Crypto Souls. Ooh, see, now we're on to something. It's right that I'm nice, it's true. Ow me, 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 what was the me O W? What the fuck? Oh, it's probably because the end of the line, maybe? I don't know. That was fucking hilarious. I love this hard style of music. <laughs> you thought Skrillex went hard, bro. Just wait. <laughs> My god. Um, so yeah, anywho. Hi, everybody. Moment of, uh... Of a, a peace and quiet between chaos on this stream of late. Uh, welcome all in. Um, very excited to be back. I wanted to stream last night. Yesterday just did not go well. And it was not in my best interest to really pay much attention to really much of anything. So I just chilled last night. What up, fam? Yo, dog. What's up, tree? Welcome in, buddy. Um... So yeah, anyways, refreshed, uh, got absolutely dumped on by rain earlier today, out of nowhere, it was crazy, um, which was, wasn't maddening, it was kind of funny, I was like, shit, <laughs> uh, got the rest of my Christmas shopping done, I just gotta wrap everything, and we're Gucci, which we're gonna do that tomorrow, um, and then, uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna stream tomorrow night, I might, it depends on ultimately where I'm going tomorrow because there's I'm supposed to see die Trump die tomorrow, my dad. Um, but my stepmom is actually not feeling very well. And I don't think it's COVID, but just obviously like let's let's not get Jug sick again because he just had COVID. Thank you, Demon. All right, enough of that one. Fucking Christ. <sighs> yeah, your leaky house, yeah. I saw those messages and pictures earlier. And um, it was, when I got home, um, 
like close to an hour ago, there were a couple of speckles of snow falling. Um, but I don't think there's anything. For, I was just looking out the window and there was nothing out there from what I could see. Hopefully it stays that way. I don't want to have to shovel tomorrow. But anywho. Oh, of course, my play button doesn't want to work now. You fucking asshole. Um, yeah, I have enough stuff I have to do tomorrow um, for the holiday. And if all goes well, I can stream tomorrow night for anyone that wants to wait up late and wait for Sandy Claus to show up. Um, but he won't because they're all adults. He doesn't visit adults anymore. <laughs> Uh, um, but yeah, I'll definitely try to stream tomorrow if I can. Christmas night, Sunday night. Um, I don't know. I'm not. It's probably not going to happen. Sundays are kind of rare nowadays for me, anyways. Um, and Monday is going to be a pretty busy fucking day. So, uh, yeah, I probably take Sunday off to be honest with all of you. Shit, yeah. I know, so I like to sleep. <laughs> JK, JK. Sleep is for the dead, my friend. Um, so anyways, thank you. For, everyone's in here fucking early. Like, hello, everybody. Welcome in. Um, oh. I almost grabbed Old Faithful Cream Ale. I got a new beer today I was really excited to try. Also, King Buffalo fucking rolls. No presents for Christmas. Hell yeah. Dude, I still have that vinyl. It's uh, right over there. Pile of vinyls on a table. <laughs> yeah, I'd never look at your Christmas presents, man. I had a friend that did that. He used to sneak and figure out what his Christmas presents were. Mean shit. I've been dead for a week now. Wait, for real? I I mean, I hope not. <laughs> I don't live with my parents, even. <laughs> You're welcome. So, this beer, I'm just looking around. I was trying to get, um, just trying to get some stuff, uh, like some Prosecco for Mimosa's Christmas morning. Because uh, let's be honest, like, for me to get through this holiday, like, I'm usually half in the bag, anyways. Uh, <clears throat> bad. I'm a baddest motherfucker. Oh world. shit! But Much she love, with the Dougie sub. got you on lurk, my dude. Thank Hope you. Hope you and the fam have a merry Christmas. Yeah, hey, merry Butch Christmas to you and your hearts, family. Butch seven hearts. Eleven months. Holy shit, dude! Almost a year. It's been that long already. My God. Um. So, anywho, I'm just looking around for stuff to get. Just liquor. And I was like, yeah, I'll go look at the craft beers. Is anything I want? And I had to get this four pack. I was like, oh my God, what is this? So this is actually a collaboration that was done between Castle Island Brewing, which is a local brewery to me in Massachusetts. And they collaborated not, not with another brewery, not with a coffee roaster, not with a bakery. None of those things. It was with JP Licks, the ice cream store, that, that shop. They call this the Crooked Cow Prince, 6.5% alcohol. So pretty middle of the road, maybe on the higher end of the middle road, right? It is a salted caramel coffee inspired blonde stout. What? <laughs> so salted caramel, great. Coffee, awesome. And it's an inspired blonde stout. I've only had a few blonde stouts in my time. Sometimes they're called albino stouts. It just depends on who's naming them. Stouts are typically like a darker color beer, like a dark brown to black. This one is basically going to be like a yellowish, like more traditional, like lager color, which is fucking crazy to me. All right. Well, anyways, to all of you, Crooked Cow Prince, uh, 
Merry Christmas, happy holidays, whatever you're doing this weekend, even if it's absolutely fucking nothing. Cheers to you. Thank you for being here. God damn it, Meg. Let's go, princess. <laughs> There's a lot to break down with this beer. And I'm trying to I'm trying to break it down. The salted caramel's there. I don't really have too much coffee. I just feel like there's some aftertaste that doesn't make any sense. It's not bad. I'm just confused. How long is text to speech? No longer than the amount of meows you just fucking did. How about that? When you put a cool that everyone's just on standby for it. I mean, maybe, but at least it's not getting spammed. <clears throat> you can have the next one. Oh my God. <clears throat> well, um, so something I'm looking into doing, I know I've been saying this a thousand fucking times, but I'm actually going to do it. Um, I'm going to draft up a schedule, uh, and I, I, there'll be like some extra stuff in there too. So there's going to be like essentially three normal streams a week is what I'm going to be going for. Um, it doesn't mean I'm capping myself at three. Maybe I'll do a bonus one here and there, depending on what's going on. Um, we're going to have uh, watch parties. We're going to try to have one once a month. We may have two. We're probably going to have two in January because we still haven't watched Train to Busan yet. Um, wait, that's from fucking Jugtober. So we're going to watch that. And I'm going to have probably another one. Or maybe we'll just do a double feature. I don't know. Let's see what everyone's thoughts are on that when we get closer. Um, but there'll be a second one in January that's something completely different. And I'll try to have one once a month. Because um, I think that would be fun. I think we have a good time when we do that. Funny you mentioned that. Your card actually showed up today. Thank you very much. I appreciate your uh, your happy solstice card you sent me. I was beating the shit out of his ball bag. I did that right afterwards. Thank you. <clears throat> um... I have some kinks that I want to like share with you so we can like do these things. I'm looking, they're like, I have a foot pad. Have you heard of the movie Skin of Marink? No. <laughs> Candy. <laughs> um, shit, where's I going with that? Damn it. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Steven. I'm going to beat his ball bag, all right. <laughs> um, all oh, right, so the schedule. So, um, I think I'm also gonna do maybe two streams a month, and I gotta get this set up too. I gotta work with Zonum because Zonum had it working pretty well. Um, I'm gonna be doing Clone Hero streams at maybe two or three times a month, um, just little like breaks in the horror schedules, just to kind of have some fun. We all have sing alongs together and just be goofy. I like bags of balls. Of course you do, creepy. <laughs> Papa must have written some spicy daddy shit in that card. <laughs> no, his wife wrote it out. <laughs> Dude, her thing is on cooldown. What? You hit everything. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, I didn't realize that we have someone in Discord. Wait, did they just join? Oh, which one of you is Amanda James on Discord? Because you just joined the Discord like 15 minutes ago. But I could probably give you a role. Just let me know. 
told her to sign it from the cats. That's, uh, well, <laughs> good attempt. Um, see it going pop right in and use text to speech. I mean, yes. And water is wet, of course. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to have a schedule put together, um, but basically trying to follow the same like weekly pattern. Um, but I'm probably going to just write it out in text and have it, um, I probably have like a discord and Twitter, but, uh, I I've been really thinking cause Knox keeps asking to like do artwork for me and stuff. Cause that's been, he's been very much into it. And uh, I told him, like, no, I'm good in this, I'm good in that. Like, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. Like, stuff stuff that would have been really cool to have. But I'm like, no, like, I don't really need it. And it'd be nice. But, like, if he if he's offering me his time to do a service like that, I want to make it that it's, it's – it, he knows that what he's doing is directly impacting the chat or the channel. Like, he did it with the, the spinner, the hot sauce spinner. Like, he built that himself, like, that whole picture and gave it to me. Um the merchandise stuff at the bottom of the screen, uh, that whole panel, he designed that, a bunch of other things, so he's good at what he does. Um, but I'm thinking maybe he can do a panel for my schedule to have um, down in the about section and elsewhere. I don't even need to look at the screen to know when Satan enters. It's very true. Very true. Um, yeah, let's see. So it's, it's now after 11 o'clock. Again, sorry, I had a little... Uh, later start than I expected um just being able to see some family that I actually care about uh flew in from Texas last night so we brought them out to dinner tonight had a good time and um we're hanging out with them at my in-laws house uh just enjoying the time and then I got back and we were kind of worried we may not have power because there's like spots all around the state right now that are starting to lose power um it's very fucking windy here right now. Uh, so if for some reason everything cuts out, stream dies, it's because the power went out. I just want you all to know. Uh, but otherwise, uh, I'll play as long as I can. We'll see what happens. But we're going to pick back up where we left off. Um, with the death tantrum. And uh, this is... This game legitimately started instantaneously there was like even the intro was just like in your face freezing there yeah it's cold as fuck here which is expected the wind makes it even worse i was pumping gas on the way home and the wind was so strong at my back it like kind of shuffled me and like i'm a 300 pound six foot three human being like that's a lot of mass to move and the wind was like nah dude we're gonna make it feel like you moved <laughs> like okay that was fucking terrifying. Uh, anywho, I'm ready to play this fucking game, and I really hope you all enjoy it with me. And of course, I need to manually fucking do this now. Jesus criminy. There's something wrong with uh, either a setting in my PC or on the stream deck, because the play pause button works until I open something else up that has volume in it, like like my title music player, or uh, which is supposed to be that, so I don't think it's gonna be working, but something else must have been opened. Oh, you know what it was? I bet you anything. Oh no, it's not doing it. It's actually saying up in the corner of my screen too, like you don't see it, but like I'm hitting play and pause and it's, the title player and there's nothing else open it just doesn't want to work that sucks but you know technology it is what it is i had to force shut it down for it to work jesus six three i'm only five four bruh you'll keep growing you got you got plenty of years left in you um yeah okay enough of that shit time to get our uh creepy demonic-y, ghosty stuff on. I feel like we played this like a week ago. It's been so long. It's been three days. <laughs> Why am I... What is this? 
Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> okay, yeah, we washed the finger. I know that. And then we're supposed to bring this to the old man. Yeah, we did this already. Okay, so the save point was a little further back. But that's fine, because I think we literally just dropped it off, and then... We're working on something else. I make jugs look short. It's true. Yeah, <laughs> six nine. Hey yo. No, for real though. <laughs> yeah, he is six nine. I hug him, and my face is in his chest. God damn it! I thought I can't sprint in this game. Well, shit. Why do you think they call him Treebeard? Hello? Do I have to actually give it to you through the inventory? Yep, okay. What's up? Found the thing you asked for. Hey, let me see. Okay. Good, well done, kid. Now take this and get on with your work. There are two more things we need. I really, really like Ents. Ents? ENTs? Can I... Old key. I don't remember which one it goes to. Because I really, really can't get it. The Ent in Lord of the Rings is Treebeard. Oh. Yeah, I, I, I think I've told you this before. Maybe, I know Papa knows too. Like... I've legit never watched Lord of the Rings, which is, it's funny to think about because I'm a big fan of like fantasy worlds and, and you know, all that, that whole type of lore is just most of what I like to like play as video games when I'm off stream, not playing horror, but like <laughs> for some reason, Lord of the Rings just doesn't do it for me. I don't know. Tree spirit. You're a tree spirit. First love was Dragon Lance. Ooh. Oh yeah, dude, the fucking clip from this room, by the way. If you, I don't know if it was played earlier. I'm sitting in here, looking for like if I can take anything else with me, and I spin around, and the the woman here is facing this way, but her head is bent all the way back, looking at me. It scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Terry Pratchett. Loves code. It doesn't know source material. It, that's not true. That's not entirely true. Conan does have a couple songs, Lord of the Rings esque. However, however, a lot of their songs actually have to do with old Sega Genesis, like side scrolling um, adventure games, like um, Golden Axe. It's quite a few Golden Axe songs. Before he was a fucking cock, but that I, I mean turf. The fuck. Oh god, is it? Don't tell me it's this room again. I already did this room and it was terrif. Fuck. We have to redo this room. Oh no. Fucking rip, dude. Oh. Jeez. I knew it was happening and I forgot it's I forgot when. <laughs> yep, there's all the people. Okay. Okay. I'm not sure what's going on, but my asshole is in danger. True. What up, Rez? Welcome in. Can I the seven chat to see if you can play a walk on with Blurp? I'm sending a message to Blurp about this because shit is still broken. Yeah, I don't know why the walk ons are weird. You made ads too damn long. I don't make the ads, dude.
And fortunately, regardless of what I do, Twitch still wants to have me have ads for whatever fucking reason. It's so goddamn stupid. I right, the business journal. Yep, saw that. Loan request form. And I think this is when the mannequin comes in. Because the door opened. There's a mannequin out in the... Not that one. Who the fuck? Right, that one. It, oh my god. Oh, oh, fuck, I hate it. I hate it. I hate this one. I, no. Oh my god. That was worse than the first time I did that. Oh my god. Conan, what is best in life? Drink with me, Conan. Three ads, all 30 seconds. Well, gotta get that sub back, my dude. On the hamburger menu, there's a walk-on. Are you able to at least pick one out to play, or does it tell you to subscribe? Yeah, that's still really confusing to me, too, of why they do that, why they're doing that. I have no other keys. Wait, is there an objective here? That you, no. Journal. Yeah, we already read that lore. Tells you to subscribe. Ah, something's probably fucked up. Think of it as supporting Chucks. Yeah. Okay, that's good data gathering. All right. Oh, fry. <laughs> it's very kind of you, Fry. So you don't have to do it during stream. Maybe you need to resync something on your end. Yeah, no, I was thinking about that. Um, I was uh, I was thinking about disabling it and then re-enabling it. Um, after when this episode ends and we move to episode five, I'll take a quick break and I'll try to fix it. Cause yeah, that's that's annoying. Ah uh, yes, the pills, the prescription note. Yeah, so we've been in this room. This is the room Damn, we ended in. in Tree with them. God damn it, that's hot sauce. Oh god, here it comes. Oh hot, 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 hot. Uncle Dozer will hot, appreciate hot, hot, that. Hot, hot, hot. Oh, my god. Right. Must be over a hundred kuriks. Dad, are you all right? Yeah, I'm. No, I'm good. Feel a lot better. Jeez. Okay, I forgot about that. Okay, set so up at the fridge, and I don't remember where we went from there. But all right, we'll hit pause here. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Fucking hot sauces. Okay. Oh shit. I closed the uh, sound settings. I can't fucking mute this shit. Dozy got a sub. Yep. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Festivus. Festivus, yeah. <laughs> Festivus for the rest of us. Okay. Now I don't have the fucking uh, atmosphere noise playing in my fucking ear really loudly. Uh, so hot sauce, you say? Hot sauce we can do. No spin 12. I really think I'm going to throw 1 through 12 out. Number 8. That's bad enough. Because they're just, they're not flavorful at all. It's not even like there's there's just no reason why those fucking sauces should be consumed. Like I almost want to take my chances with just fucking like drinking straight up bleach half the time with that shit. They're probably unsafe now. You're probably right. <laughs> but yeah, all right, I'll go get number eight. Numero octo.
Oh. First batch I pull out has number eight in it. Uh. By the way, last night I had a uh, grilled chicken, bacon, and jalapeno pizza. I never had that specific grouping before, and it really worked well. And the jalapenos were fresh, so like I snapped into them, and they were packing a good fucking punch. It was nice. Not 12, but still bad. Yeah, exactly. All right, here we are, number eight. Uh -huh. God, that is so bad. Candy, what the fuck? Oh, oh God, here it comes. The video is back. Fucking hype train. Merry Christmas. Merry Chrysler. To fry. My God. Must be over a hundred. And we're suddenly at a level four hype train. Holy fuck. Thank you. So let's see. Candy gift this sub to uh, Strepidemic, Clicking Cat, Xeno Bird Boy, Mental, Resonator, Kiwi, Convict, Condor Man, and Episky as well. Nice. Candy, you need to calm down. That's 134 gifted subs in this channel. That is staggering. Ugh. Ugh. What the fuck? Oh god, here it comes! Candy! What are you doing? My god. 104 couldn't be, be right. Yes, please shout out. Dad, are you alright? Yeah, I'm. I'm here, no, I'm good. Go. Feel a lot better. <laughs> Please go follow Candy Marsh. <laughs> they chopped my stupid flashlight. Thank you. I don't know. Why? Make sure you stretch out those cream hamstrings. Yeah, okay. I will. It's fine. Ugh. Phasma always bullying you. Yeah, no, we're gonna we're gonna cap it. Uh just two more hot sauces. I can't I can't do that many hot sauces. This is unreal, though. A level six fucking hype train. What the fuck? Candy's dropping fucking subs like it's goddamn Christmas. Oh. So that group, she got Professor Ruffles. Yeah, the night, bitch. What the fuck? Oh, Man. God, here it comes. Oh, hot, 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 hot. Hot, 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 hot. <laughs> <laughs> that was a follow in there somewhere, I think. My God, it must be over with 200 bits. Dad, are you all right? Yeah, I'm. No, I'm good. Feel a lot better. Did Did someone just hit the follow button? Because I heard my I heard my voice go off, but I don't have a message anywhere for a new follower, not in chat or activity feed. Just paying it forward, asshole. Wow. Um, yeah, holy shit. About to beat your last record. Keep up the support. That's fucking terrifying. Please don't. So these ones from Meg go out to Cuckoo Lane, Paul Pirrell. Oh, Will Billy. I know Will Billy. Uh, Dead Zero and Mean Mean Chelsea Jean. That's a good name. And the uh, that second group from Candy of 16 more fucking subs. 
Professor Professor Ruffles, Vivian Wang 010929, DJ Merkout Frat. Heavy hand swings wasn't subbed. Oh, he gonna get it. Nady Nate, Papa Francis, Gosh Dosh Gaming. I was beating the shit out of his ball bag. Yeah. Uh Fidolfia. Meow 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 meow. I will stop this time because of hype train. Oh, thank you, demon. <laughs> Tensai Tensai 72. Noxler's frog bot. <laughs> Miss Mad Duck. Oakley plays. Stroop. Nice. Zombie Zool. Jackinator. And shut up, Meg. Well, fuck me running. That was a good fucking grab of people you got uh, subs for there, Candy. Another 50? Calm down. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. Um, I can do two more hot sauces, and then I need to... Well, for one, we get to play this fucking game. And two, um, I need to be good with hot sauces um, just because it's... Like, my, my issue with my esophagus... Um, too much hot sauce can be a problem for me and I want to avoid that as best as possible um and this has nothing to do with that one time where I was like I got him to be sick I'm ending stream and then I just fucking raided over to corn husk and went and got sick in the bathroom that was something else I think I ate something earlier in the day that just was no go and it just took a while to figure it out don't tell me what to do alright calm yourself <laughs> okay that's a suggestion not an imperative you gotta stay healthy yeah you're gonna kill Jug. I mean, she's trying to. Yeah, no, and I, yeah, no, I, she, she knows too. Like, and most people, I think, do too, because most of you have been in the stream before and have, um, have seen me have to like cut back on hot sauces and leave them for another stream. Um, vomit sounds. Vomit sounds. Yes. <laughs> vomit sounds. I think a place you'd go to watch a bunch of greyhounds eat a ton of food and yak it up everywhere. No, I'm not. I'm innocent. You know, okay. If you're innocent, then I'm the artist formerly known as Prince. <laughs> um. So really quick, before you do the spins, um, or get the spins, if you are uh, someone that likes to go through YouTube occasionally and maybe you like watching jump scare compilation videos. Um, personally, that's what got me into streaming in general uh, was jump scare compilations. Please, please, please go give a follow to channel 13. Um, there's a link there or not follow, but subscribe to them. That's the YouTube terminology. Same thing as a follow on Twitch. Please go check them out. Subscribe to them. And uh, watch some of their videos. Like they're, you're gonna like them a lot. Um, I'm featured heavily in them. Uh, Knox, Knox made one before. Um, we have Codename Power shows up here. He's in them. Cartoon Head George. Breakfast at Noon is the the editor. Um, there's a lot of horror streamers that I've interacted with that are in there. I mean, Butt Cheeks in there. Fuck, like it's crazy. Um, and if you want to be, uh, oh. Oh, hype train has ended. Let's see. What are those totals? You guys are nuts. Level six completed. Wow. 32 subs and 200 bits. Jesus fucking Christ. Uh, thank you, everybody, for the hype train. That was completely unnecessary. Um, super, super fucking appreciated. Um, and I know you're being super, like, generous with me. However, if you're into supporting um, solid YouTube channels more than just your typical hit the you know hit the thumbs up subscribe button and occasionally watching a video with a like here and there or comment, you mean start a new one? Oh God, no! Should I send you our local hot sauces when I can? Jesus. Um, so we, they have a Patreon with some pretty interesting. Um, little perks with the higher tiers uh or if you're more of like hey i don't want a monthly subscription of paying them money i want to give them like 
one one time donation uh the stream elements link there goes to breakfast at noon he is the editor of channel 13 he's the one doing all of the heavy lifting um so it, it's it'd be super helpful to if you can just because youtube's really pulling his chain uh trying to remain monetized it's it's a whole fucking pain in the ass 32 subs remember you got like over 50 subs on your birthday yeah no my birth it's the night before my birthday and then the night of my birthday were unreal butt plugs you know diablos first off welcome in second off you're like the fourth person that's asked about jug plugs yes jug plugs um if i can figure out a way to do it i'll do it i mean if people want them fuck it <laughs> you know i don't want any money off of it <laughs> i really don't i it's not what it's about but like i don't know. should i put my face on them so that my face is up your ass is that what you all want do you want do you want the poggers face just ooh, like on a butt plug i'll do it if i can find someone that'll do it jug plugs <laughs> that sounds traumatizing <laughs> How much you look at Valerie in the face on your morning meeting when knowing how to chug plug the night before? <laughs> Dude, you fucking destroyed me on that call yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> no, Candy, not that one. <laughs> Try Cal Exotics. Wait, Meg. <laughs> Someone's like, there's this, this just one person like, oh, by the way. You should probably share it like this. Cal Exotics, okay. <laughs> I I won't be able to I won't be able to advertise that basically anywhere outside of like Twitter. <laughs> Candy jug plugs? Oh god. <laughs> they make sex toys. I figured with that name, yeah. <laughs> you know, I worked in the adult industry for like 10 years. I honestly did not know that. This is news to me. Because I, when I met you, I remember you had an office job and you fucking hated some old bitch that you worked with. And I was like, she's going to kill her one day. She's going to make the news. I'd be like, I know that girl. Good. That bitch had it coming. Face after getting chug plugged. <laughs> Drag into that one. Okay. <laughs> You must be the Meg Jam was talking about. Yes, Meg ends up in uh, Jam's chats uh, here and there for sure. Yes. When the hell do we get to Gojira? And I'm not even mad about it. This is great. You followed Meg? Oh, nice. Appreciate you. Yeah, me and Meg go way back. Um, so for those that read my occasional album reviews uh for ghost cult magazine meg is a photographer that takes a lot of concert photos for them uh fantastic fantastic artist i just jot words down when i'm really fucking high listening to a new album i'm like here's what i think this album's about and that's it my job's easy hers is not um gokira sounds like deftones for grown whoops I guess you need to give yourself more credit. I mean, I'm doing well. I'm high. So that is like a added difficulty modifier. Uh, so yeah. Okay. I'll give myself some credit for that. one. <laughs> but thank you. Appreciate you. Um, shit. I feel like there was something else. Now that I was just sitting here thinking, I think I'm good though. I don't think there's anything. It's that, important the you follow, follow too by the way i do metal vocals and have had band offers but due to not wanting to complicate things with my family i don't take anyone up on it i feel like we've had this conversation in jam's channel before because i i like almost positive i've talked to you about that yeah are the same offers with porn <laughs> God damn it. Oh, uh, gonna pre the new Diablo. Nice. 
Polish, what up, buddy? What's up, bruh? Uh, we're just we're about to do two more hot sauces. Uh, as you can see, there's there's quite a bit of them I have to go through. That's that's ten hot sauces. Uh, uh so uh, no spin twelve. No, 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 no. So we're gonna do two more. I I did one already. It was number eight, and it was bad. Um. So we had ended up being a hype train where um, there was a couple subs. I think three subs got us there. Um, and then Candy decided to just fucking go off the fucking rails and just dumped fucking gift subs on me like I was, you know, a bukkake porn star. It was it was vicious. Um, so, yeah, that's how we got here. <laughs> hey, it's Christmas. True. Very true. Spin 12 and spin 11. No. Sounds like her. Yes. Yeah, that's candy. <laughs> okay. Um, let's, uh, let's go to the back to the wheel. Uh, that is 15. Gengars don't celebrate Christmas. <laughs> That's the most random sentence, but you're pro it's probably a true statement. I was expecting that voice. Holy shit. Domcraft? I don't even know who this band is. This is great, though. Candy with her Gengar hat. Oh, got it, got it, got it. <laughs> How dare you, Polish? <laughs> Hope everyone has a Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Same to you, Diablo. Same to you. Domcraft. That is D-O-M-K-R-A-F-T, correct? Domcraft. D2 is greater than D3. Probably. It's not dome craft. There's no E. I know what you guys are trying to do. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Ooh. <sighs> 18. This is 16. It's, yeah. Mm -hmm. Damn it. It's the last two I'm grabbing. Looks German, though? Oh, for sure. So, dome crap. Dome crap. Dome cropped. <laughs> it's not dome. There's no E. <laughs> Uh, I think this is 15. Yeah, 15 is Plum Dog Millionaire. We did that the other day. Okay, good. Number two. Oh, well, tell me the third one was spinning. Go for it, pal. Fuck. Yes, that's appropriate. I'll take that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, demon. <laughs> Uh, sorry, really quick, let me just make sure I put a heart on this song so I know to look for it later. In fact, I'm going to go to the band too and do that. Uh, excuse me. Uh, 
I got the follow button hit. They've got a few albums. 2016, 2017, 2019, 2021. It's pretty consistent. There's a couple of EPs and singles too. Nice. Oh, that makes a lot of fucking sense. Fans also like Conan, Monolord, Telekinetic Yeti. The Mammoth Weed Wizard, Green Lung, Ufa Mammoot, Dope Lord. I don't know those bands. How the fuck do I pronounce that? Scre Screco Screcodian? What the fuck? The Quill, Black, Rainbows? It's a, I don't know the other bands, but there's definitely a bunch of bands up at the top end of that that I'm like, I know what I am. Bob Crafts. <laughs> If it's Bobcraft, they must have a really happy ending, huh? Speaking of happy endings, I'm not going to do number 12 last. I think I'm going to muscle it up, get through that, and then take a sip of the Plum Dog Millionaire to get a better flavor in my mouth. I think it's the best I can do. Hand jobs for all now. Look at night. <laughs> oh my god. Fry, we're rich. It's an Xmas miracle. Hell yeah. Oh. Number 12. There are three different 1 million capsi capsizum, apparently is how you pronounce it, not capsicum, capsizum. Uh, three different 1 million extracts of capsizum. Uh, so 3 million Scoville units of capsaicin extract is in this sauce alone, let alone every other fucking pepper you can think of, basically. Except for like a pink tiger. Capsaicin. Yes. Yes? Yes. I didn't know what you were going to say when you said happy ending, but that was not it. <laughs> you get a hand job, you get a hand job, you get a hand job, you get a hand job. That's Oprah. Pain without love, pain I can't get enough pain. I thought it. Oh God. Yeah. Oh, Asian, capsay come. Good God. All right, let me just get this fucking over with already. None of you are helping. <laughs> Hold on, it bubbled to the surface. Give it a second. Not like bubble. There's like a, a little film. At the top, you think that will be the last hand job Bob Craft gets? No, he's definitely gotten more since then. Let's be fucking honest. Come on, burn, baby, burn. <laughs> like, people are like, Oh, that's so disgusting. Blah blah blah. Like, let's be honest. If this was a place where the people giving the <clears throat> massages were, say, like children or underage girls or boys yeah that's fucked up that's not okay i would very much not like that instead it's a uh two adults that are consenting it's illegal in this country to do that unless you're filming it then it becomes porn and it's legal it's actually a business um so i'm like Two consenting adults, like, have at it. If you got the money to fucking get a tug job at the end of your massage and it's a, it's cool between you and the person, fine. Who am I to fucking judge? Do you know at least the song? Yeah, I know the song. Oh, bitch. God damn it. As long as it's not trafficking. Yeah, th yes, correct, correct. <laughs> Bye, demon. <laughs> Happy ending, yeah. All right, let's get this over with. Here we go. Oh. Oh. rub a tug special with that happy ending yeah oh my god it's so disgusting
And now here's and then then the, uh then the pain kicks in with the flavor. Quick number fifteen. Plug plum dog millionaire. Here we are. It's a good one. It's got plums in it. Uh, that is on a mug. If you want one, check it out. Oh, fucking God. Oh. Uh. Oh, this is fucking terrible. Oh. No, I can't taste the beer at all. Oh. What is this song? All I hear is, hi, Mandy. Ugh. Fuck. I have like no water, fuck. Ah. <clears throat> uh. Oh my god. Ah. Uh. Uh, ooh, ooh. Uh, <laughs> not far, not far off, Woodaloo. Uh, also during. Uh. Oh, my God. Uh. 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 This is bad. This is not for love. Ugh. Ugh. We're yeah, we're definitely done with hot sauces for tonight. I'm sorry, everybody.
Oh, it hurts so bad. It tastes terrible. Uh. Sorry to mom you nuts. You're not momming me, but thank you. Uh. Oh, fuck. Yeah. I think those hot sauces are getting retired. We're going to just stick with the nine good ones. It's just, this isn't punishment. It's, it's cruel and unusual. Like, I can feel adrenaline flowing through my body. It's fucking awful. Ugh. <clears throat> Fuck. Uh. Surprisingly, none. I haven't taken Tums in a while, but I take a Meprazole every single day in the morning. I have to. Poor management of my diet, younger, my teens and 20s, such bad acid reflux, <clears throat> lots of extra weight. Stomach acid basically was eating away at my lower esophagus for so long to the point where my white blood cells think my lower esophagus was a foreign body. <clears throat> It would attack it. <clears throat> uh, and what happens is the esophagus would get inflamed and narrow. So certain foods like when I eat like a chicken or a steak. Usually the protein very stringy or like one of those harder pieces of bread like or toast, which good shit. Don't get me wrong. Oh, that's good food. Uh, it would get stuck halfway down to my stomach and I would feel it in my chest for I think the longest it took me to get rid of it was like 45 minutes uh, I've come close to having to go to the ER before to get it like flushed out because I would try to drink water warm water, salt water cold water, ginger beer laying down, like sitting up Relaxing in a dark room and like trying to do breathing exercises and they should get stuck there Every time I drink something it would just regurgitate back up my esophagus would be like no, bro. We're 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 closed for the night Blah, right back up Not a really cool uh, Not a cool party uh, prank at all the Last time it happened was actually at a uh, friend's party I was in his fucking kitchen in his sink just up chucking like hot water and uh it was bad it was like a half an hour and i was like i gotta get in charge of this and uh the good news is i've been in remission now for god probably two two plus years because i think i got everything done like pre-covid or right at the beginning of covid so we'll say two and a half years um i uh, basically got diagnosed with it uh, it's called eosinoesophagitis it's autoimmune disease white blood cells attacking the esophagus for numerous of reasons i had to make sure i didn't have food allergies and we actually cut out wheat which is a main ingredient in beer i couldn't drink beer for like eight months um eggs dairy 
soy. And like every six to eight weeks, I'd go out and check in with my allergist and we'd be like, all right, we're good to move forward. Like there's no episodes, like there's no swelling of your lymph nodes, like you're not, like your throat's not all red or anything. God damn it, Oodaloo. Vaginaitis. God damn it. Um, <clears throat> so long and short of it, um, they basically put a balloon in my esophagus and they blew the balloon up to kind of expand everything open again. Temporary fix. And I've been on top of, well, to a degree. I've been trying to get better at make sure I'm not eating late. Like, this is the most beer I've had after like 9 o'clock in months. Um, and uh, hot sauce has got to get capped too, unfortunately. Because um, otherwise... It fucks with me. And uh, I don't want to feel like that again. Uh, the symptoms are not fun. It's been a good two and a half years of not feeling like that. And uh, yeah. So that's my reasoning. I'm not, this isn't me, oh, jokes fucking pussing out, bro. <laughs> like, no, like, if I didn't have this problem, if I had some like iron stomach that, and like no issues or anything like that, and was in good shape. Like, I'd do it. I'd burn through all of those. Fuck it. Wimp. Yeah, another good word. So, that's just how I kind of feel on the matter. All right. I think I'm... I don't know if I'm liking this. But I have a good idea. Uh, oh. Whew. Here we go. I think this is a very underrated album by Mastodon. Everyone shits on it. I think it's a great album. We all want you to feel good. Thank you, Fry. Appreciate you. Ugh. Okay, so we just did two more hot sauces. I'd already cleared the first one out. So two times three is six. I need to take six off of 30. That's 24. Reset the counter. I should just get a subtraction button. It'd be so much easier. I'm just lazy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, oh twelve, God, thirteen, fourteen, oh, fifteen, hot, sixteen, hot, hot, eighteen, hot, nineteen, hot, twenty, twenty-one, oh, twenty-two, twenty-three, oh God, twenty-four. Here it comes. Oh, hot, 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 Okay. Problem solved. <laughs> <sighs> Thank you, Diablos. I'm glad you agree with that sentiment. Oh. Don't mind me. I just need like another minute. Tops. Um, my lips are still on fire. And it's it's pretty painful. I I, I can't lie. The forest. <clears throat> oh, God. Oh, okay. I think we're getting there. I think we're good. Oh. Thank you all for um, being as generous as you are. I mean, obviously, these hot sauces are probably going to kill me one day. Uh, it is what it is. But at least I'll go down doing what I enjoy doing. Because um, I like doing this. I've been doing this for two years with, like, no more than ever, like, a week off. I think a week and a half earlier this month was, or like, a week and two days was the longest I've ever been without streaming in two years. <laughs> Um, and that was because I couldn't get my fucking PC to boot. Like, <laughs> it wasn't like, uh, like, oh, I'm taking a vacation for like 10 days. Like, no, um, I don't know. It's just fun. Uh, you're all my friends and you all like to hang out here and watch me suffer through all these fucking terrible fucking games and 
disgusting hot sauces. Um, plus, I mean, I enjoy the games. I honestly do. They're scary. Like, some more than others. Some much more than others. And some others are not scary. Uh, but... I don't know. I think it just helps that uh, I've refound horror games again um, after being a kid and playing them and loving them, and then like they all kind of started sucking when I got into like the te like the teenage years, and I found Siphon Filter, and I was like, I'm gonna play this shit, and then like the original Call of Duty came out, and then it was just it's everything after that's history. Of course, you're a friend Diablo, so why wouldn't you be? <clears throat> we all have plans. Um. Fuck. I had a point with this whole conversation. Anyways, just thank you. Thank you all for being here, hanging out. Um, I never anticipate anyone to, you know, do the subbing, do the biddies, like any of this stuff. Like, I don't expect there to be money involved with this ever. Um... Just making friends, so many friends on this fucking platform. I mean, a lot of people that are in here, um, I know are local to me. Um, and may even know me personally. And that's cool. Like, the fact you're even spending time here is amazing. And then there's all these other people from all over the country. Hell, all over the world. Candy's from fucking Malaysia. Like, it's just... It's nice. I think the internet can be a cool place sometimes. It could be a very silly place most of the time, but it can also be a very dark place. So I feel like at least this little corner of the internet that I've kind of, you know, started and you all built up and made awesome. I'm the biggest wise ass. I'm from hell. I mean, I would hope so with a name like that. I'm surprised Satan isn't in here. He'd, he'd be able to talk you up a storm. Oh, okay. I don't know. This kind of reminds me of, like, Mastodon's like, let's try to write Black Sabbath shit. Like, okay, we'll try that. <clears throat> All right. Now you and the missus have to visit me in Malaysia so we can go for food. Oh, that'd be fucking awesome. So tonight we ended up deciding on Mexican food and it was actually very good. Uh, for anyone that is in the Massachusetts area and you're down in Plymouth of all places to like hang out at the Plymouth Rock or some shit, uh, go to La Bamba's. Margaritas were okay. I've had better, um, but the food was fantastic. I got a carnita, I got a carnitas uh, burrito and it was fucking top notch. La Bamba's Rules? Oh, is there La Bamba near you? Plymouth Rock. <laughs> yeah, it's it's bullshit. Matt's on his Nickelback for Metal Kids. I said what I said. More like Plymouth Pebble. Um, I just... Even as a kid when I lived there, I was like... Did they really keep the rock that, like... Imagine you're finding new land. To, well, to you and your culture, I guess. Because obviously we know there were natives here. And, like, obviously Leif Erikson found, like, North America as well. But, like, let's just let's put it aside for a second. The, the people that came here, the, the settlers that came here in 1620, like, they didn't fucking know. Like, they show up and they're just like, whoa, the new world. It's not fucking edge of the world. They're going to fall off the edge of it. Like, they figured out the, the earth wasn't flat pretty fucking quick. Um, but, like, they show up there. And... The first person that steps out of the boat and puts their foot down, they go, this is the first rock we touched. Let's hold on to it. And it's this fucking boulder and they just fucking like drag it <laughs> to inland. Like that it's not flat. It's not. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I just always thought that the concept of the Plymouth rock is hysterical. <laughs> But regardless, yes, uh, La Bamba's is fucking great. I really enjoyed the food. Um, having said it, the whole point of the story, sorry for the, uh, you know, the goddamn diversions here. We actually almost went to get ramen tonight at the same place, Candy, where I went a few weeks ago. I was telling you about, 
Um, and that's a place called Koji, right on Main Street. And they make some fine fucking ramen. They have a build your own ramen like Tuesday nights, and it's fucking cheap as hell. And then, um, what was? Oh, then they have. Oh, I got some sushi there too. Cause, come on, come on, come on. Sushi's fucking fantastic. Whether it's your appetizer or your main entree, like if it's on the menu, you're fucking getting it. Ramen, yes, ramen and sushi, correct. <laughs> Ew, fish. It's it's not for everyone. It's not. Um, even I know people that like seafood that don't like sushi, and it's hey, you know what? The, what I gonna say about that? More for me. But I will say that Koji also has some other great fucking entrees too. Uh, lots of other Japanese fare. Lots of noodles. Lots of noodles. More for me. <laughs> yeah. I had sushi for lunch yesterday. Fuck yeah. Living in Quincy is a sushi ramen lover's dream. That's true. Um, I was going to say, there's... I remember... Um, so, Mogwai, who's in here once in a while, he claims he's my stepdad. Uh, he's a previous co-worker of mine. Uh, he has basically grown up in Quincy. And I remember when he got married to uh, his longtime girlfriend... Uh, who is here from Thailand studying? Um, they 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 had their wedding. It was in, like their backyard. It was just, like family and stuff. But the friends got to hang out with them um, at this restaurant. I can't remember the name of it, Tree. I'll tell you once. I gotta ask him. But it was a really fucking good restaurant. The food was fucking great, and we had like this whole fucking area. And it was like the tables were at ground level, and you like stepped down into the table. Um, and sat there and it was such, it's such a cool atmosphere and like it was a whole fucking giant long table all of us are sitting there it's so good six arm places and ten sushi places all within 15 minutes of me five of those within a five minute walk that's fucking great I got a spot from Blurf walk on is broken right now and won't be fixed until the team comes back from holiday break in January That's I think that's fair um, they're aware of the issue that's step one and it sounds like they have they have plans to get it fixed, you know, next month. And, you know, good for them for taking some time off. It'd be, you know, I had a fucking field day earlier today with someone that wanted to get font color changed on an app by Monday morning. And I'm like, you do realize that, like, everyone's on skeleton crew right now. Like, we're handling emergencies and, like, outages. We're not gonna change your fucking color of your fucking app, like. And then they're like, they're like, oh, Tuesday's fine too. Choke on a candy cane, fucker. Like that's so stupid. Twenty two C. Me and a friend went to every sushi place in Boston. Fifty two places, fifty two weeks. Fucking Christ! What was your favorite? I feel like everyone that tries to tell me the best sushi is Samurai Boston. From what I've heard a lot. Um, but I'm curious to see what, what you would say to that. Considering you've literally been to every single sushi place back... Well... Circa 2016. Also, can we talk about pho? Uh, the Vietnamese version of ramen? Fantastic. Okay, so they probably don't exist anymore because of the pandemic. I mean, that's... Yeah. Wouldn't it be shocked... Fucking God. What? Excuse me? Fuzzle Randolph. Dude, for real. For real. The first time I ever had Fa, it was called like Fa 52. And Fa 37 was like 10 minutes east. And then there was another one like north of there. There's Fa 143. It was just Fa and then a number. I lived right down the road. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a pun jugs for fucking God. No, I... Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, okay. I heard it as foo. You got me. Lays in Brighton closed. Oh, that sucks. What was, um, bruh. <laughs> 
Leave me alone, Candy. <laughs> He's so mean to me. There's this killer place in the Lower East Side called Noru Siko. Had like four shitty tables, but the chef special was to die for. You know what? Let's go to Google. Let's see what it says here. Noru Siku. And this is in Boston. Yeah, it's not coming up anywhere. That's Siku Jewelers. That's not the same thing. Yeah, I think it's gone, my dude. That sucks. Leave you alone? Never. <laughs> Which is best fun, Randolph? You need to try it. I think they're all owned by the same family. Or, or the thing is to name your restaurant Pho and then a number. <laughs> yeah, they're all the same. Okay. You know, I saw you were moving somewhere. Where are, the, where are you moving, Fry? If you oh, I mean, you could DM. You don't have to say it out, uh, obviously, in chat. I'm just curious where you're moving to. I'm hoping you're not going back to Colorado. I'd be very sad. Don't make me sad this evening. I went to the first one he mentioned, Fun 52, <laughs> Fun 999, yeah. Oh, okay, so, ooh, she's going to be closer to me. Look at that. Is this Octopus Has No Friends? Yes, it is. Okay, so there's a runner-up. Okay. Ooh, we need to hang out. All of us. Oh, dude, for sure. Absolutely. Checked and it's still there. So the runner-up is the other one. Zen. Ooh, okay. Zen Boston. Right by Park Street. Zen Sushi Bar. All right, tell you what, since we're looking at this, let me uh, let me share it with everybody. Uh, let's go to the our menu. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, Tree. Uh. uh Okay, so these are the different appetizers they have. Give me the good stuff. All right, they got some hot appetizers. Yeah, soups and salads, noodles and rice. All right, they got some udon noodles, soba noodles, ramen, typical fried rice. All right, so they, you, you got some good stuff here too. Cold soba noodles. We're getting there. Noodles and hot soup. Mmm, yellow. Curry ramen and soup, spicy. Sushi a la carte. Look at that. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh. God damn. So you shrimp, you have tuna, salmon, mackerel, sea bass, yellowtail, hamachi, salmon roe, flying fish roe, fried bean curd. I've never seen that before. Scallop, octopus, egg cake, squid, freshwater eel, sea urchin. That's one of the few I haven't had yet, a sea urchin. Uh, smoked salmon, crab stick, sweet shrimp, white tuna, fatty tuna. So most of that's pretty straightforward. They also have Donbury for those who like it. I don't even know what that is. And this is, okay, it's all the same stuff, but just in sashimi. Nice. Fried bean curd sounds great. Everyone's always got the fucking sushi sashimi boat. 45 bucks you get. Chef's selection of freshest sushi, six pieces. Uh, sashimi, 12 pieces. And maki, 12 pieces. Includes soup and salad. So you get a soup, a salad, and 30 pieces of sushi. Jesus. We have a limited sushi bar here. There was one in a place I used to live in. It was really fucking good. It was very good. You had a, uh, they maxed you out at an hour, but it was like, by 45 minutes, I was tapping out anyways. Food truck out here that does sushi burritos. Oh, my God. This sounds amazing. Sushi burritos are excellent when done right. Oh, absolutely. I've only had them once before. It was messy, but it was damn good. Chef special creation maki. What the fuck is that? 
Yeah, there's uh, All right, a lot of these look familiar to me just from like the names until I get he here. Special Zen Salmon Maki. Smoked salmon with cream cheese, so it's like Philadelphia roll. Cucumber inside and salmon covered outside with salmon roe on top with chef special sauce, chef special spicy sauce, and tempura flakes. Ooh. So that's the Philadelphia roll with some fucking oomph. Let's go. Kimbop Rex. Huh. Unironically, one of the most mediocre ramen places here has the best sushi in town. <laughs> Fantastic. We got some Makimono pickled daikon radish roll, fried sweet potato. Close your eyes. Uh huh. Yes. Yeah, a lot of this stuff, like I, it, it doesn't sound like anything new to me, but that doesn't mean it's boring either. Because I feel like it's all about craftsmanship and executing. Like, I can have spicy tuna from one place and then get spicy tuna from another place. And they can be vastly different. Um, but yeah. They have a lot of options here, which is great. Oh, here's the Dombury you were talking about. Okay. The spot in Seaport, Rich People Land in Boston. Yep. It comes on a conveyor belt. Oh, I've, yes, I know where it is. I've never get to. I never got to go, but I really wanted to. The thing with Zen was not the variety, but I've never had more perfectly cooked sushi rice. Good. They honestly, it's so difficult to get a really good fucking rice. Um, like you need a rice cooker. The best rice I've ever had is out of a rice cooker every fucking time. Um, otherwise. You're just, you're missing it. The texture's always going to be a little bit off. So there's Donbury or rice bowls. So there's uh, Karag, Karag Don. There's Japanese-style fried chicken and sesame honey sauce served with miso soup. For 13 bucks? That's, that's not fucking bad. Uh, it looks like all this kind of like miso soup, it seems like. That's pretty cool. Salmon and tuna... A bunch of salmon. Nice. Curry pork katsu don, breaded with Japanese breadcrumbs batter, served with miso soup. It sold the fuck out. Huh. Not sushi, but if you ever come out to California, just and I will take you to Treo Tacos. Ooh. Um, where have I? I got good tacos one time. Um, I don't remember the name of it. But I was staying in San Diego. I was also fucking hammered. Uh, Amanda and I ended up at a taco place that was all about um, luchador wrestling. It was fucking wild. They had TVs playing luchador wrestling matches and like tons of like memorabilia up on the walls, and the food was great. But yeah, um, the next time I plan to go out there, I'll definitely let you know, obviously. Special, oh, so we got the, the, the hand roll specials, the one, yeah, the cone, okay. Poke bowls, fucking awesome. Never go wrong with those. Little side orders. Any good beverages in here that would make me go through fucking Fiji water? God damn it. Although it's probably cheaper than it would have been any other fucking gas station. Japanese soda, white cream. Damn. Now I want a Pokeball. Yes. That's good. That's good. Mm. Damn. All right. Good to know. It's just unfortunate because, like, I want to bring Amanda to these places, but she's not a seafood fan. And uh, she was able to do sweet potato rolls for a while. And then and I think it weirded her out once because one time she got it and the nori wrap was on the outside of the rice and it was a complete turnoff. It was it was done for. Gotta go wrap presents because I'm a slacker. Have a, I haven't even done mine yet either. Mine are all fucking right. There. The wrapping paper is right there, right there. I just bought it today. 
I got lots of work to do tomorrow. Uh, but go enjoy your present wrapping. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for the fucking subs. Thank you for being an awesome fucking friend. Um, if I don't talk to you, have a lovely uh, holiday weekend. Does she like ramen? Oh, yeah. She actually was trying to recommend ramen tonight. Well, we, it was our backup plan. Funny enough, too, while we're at the Mexican restaurant La Bamba's, the power went out uh, in Plymouth downtown. And we started seeing like it coming up here and there. We're like, maybe we'll be next. Who knows? And we were sitting there just eating chips and salsa in the dark. And then, boom, all of a sudden the power came back on. We're like, fuck yes. Because I wanted the food so bad. YouTube, be safe. Don't do dumb shit. Nah. The only dumb shit I'm going to do is probably call my uncle a fucking cock. That's about it. And he deserves it, the bastard. All right. Uh, now that we've been through half of the fucking Mastodon album, and I feel better, and we looked and looked at food, and now I'm, like, suddenly hungry again, and I don't want to be hungry again because it is nearly 12.30 in the morning. Um, I think it's time we get back into some of the, uh, the fucking video game that we plan on playing today. I think it's a good idea. Yes? No? Maybe so? Let's do it. Okay. Good night, demon. Oh. Okay. So we're picking back up. We're in here. We have to open up this fridge for some reason. I remember there was a puzzle after I opened this up, and that's where we got stuck. And I think I found a video online on how to solve it. I just forgot to bookmark it. I'm going to find it and I'm going to use it and I'm going to cheat to get through it because I think I spent a solid like 20 minutes trying to figure it out and it was not going well at all. Oh, this room was creepy too. I don't think there's anything in here I need. I think the door just remains open. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, I'm not going to go in there first. Let me just check upstairs. Because I think there was a crowbar. Crowbar right there. Oh, we're going to actually take it. Take that fucking crowbar, you... Hello? Alright, I don't have a key for that. No worries. Okay, and I'm pretty certain. Oh, I forgot to take the scissors that were there. Ooh. I'm pretty certain I'm going to get jump scared here. If I recall correctly, but I'm ready for it. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Everything's fine. No, shouldn't teeth be extracted from this corpse? Oh my god, so... Can I seriously fucking use... I can't use it, damn it. That would have been so funny. Fucking... <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck it. Alright, so there, but there's the puzzle here. So this puzzle, now... Here's the problem that I have. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Because I tried to solve this for so fucking long and I couldn't figure it out. Uh, um, so we're going to look this up. And yeah, you can be mad at me. You can tell me I'm a cheater. And I mean, you're not wrong. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> the death uh, and Trung, and I want a slider puzzle. Nice. Okay, it's a 12 second. Oh, God, that's so fast.
Oh god, it's it's seriously so fucking fast. Anyway, I try to like change. I try to like bring it back track by track. It goes fuzzy. All right, I think I know how to start this though. So let's let's move this over here, so that way I can actually play the game and do this at the same time. We're gonna do this. It's gonna work. So four goes up there. Okay. We've got those cheese. So this is going to go 4, 7, 8, 11. Don't worry about the counting. It's just how they numbered it, I guess. <laughs> okay. 10, 13. Uh, excuse me. Uh... 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So that went like that, that, that. Okay. And then this is coming down, I think. Yes. Okay. And then boom, 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 boom. Okay. <laughs> this is fucking outrageous. If this seriously actually worked, I'd be like, oh. <clears throat> That's a big circle. Like that. We're at second five out of 11, by the way. We're like halfway through. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. Okay, it's starting to, I see it now. Eight out of 11 seconds. I got it. Hey. Viet Teep key. A hidden key in a puzzle? Which door will it open? First try. <laughs> <laughs> yes. First try. Absolutely. All right, so I don't think I have anything I can really extract the teeth with because scissors aren't going to work. Yeah. Um, pliers aren't going to work. Okay, so you have to find something else. And it's probably going to be behind whatever door I need to unlock, which, you know what? It may be the door that's upstairs. Because I feel like I've unlocked a lot of other doors in here. I'll check that balcony in a minute. Okay. Nope, it's not that one. Okay. We'll go ahead and check the balcony here. Can I reopen my own fucking place? No, I can't even do anything with it. That's great. This door we've already opened. Um, and I don't think there's anything else I can do in here because I can't interact with this safe. Which is really weird. You'd think you'd be able to. But yeah, so that's already been handled. Um, and this is the little storage closet and bathroom at the end where uh, things happened. So, alright, we don't have to worry about this fucking balcony then. 
So we'll head back down another flight. Hmm. Okay. All these doors are open on this little landing. A little bit further down. I don't think it's going to open this door because we already had it unlocked once before. But you know what? I'm trying it again. Okay. This door has already been opened and unlocked. Oh, okay. That's the drawer. Got to sleep in. Nice chilling with you all. Bri, thank you so much for hanging out as always. Super appreciate you. Um, I hope you are uh, going to have a lovely holiday season. I just checked my DM. Can big living. Damn. Nice. I don't go up to that. I don't go to that particular town too, too often, but I do. I usually I'm up there for a good time. So that's awesome. Congratulations. I'm looking I'm looking forward to uh, hearing how it goes with the uh, the new place. I hope you enjoy it. And uh, enjoy the holiday weekend, of course. Big living for real. <laughs> All right, let's check out here. There's two doors out here I haven't unlocked yet. Could be this one. It is. Oh, shit. I'm finally outside of the building. What is this place? I just got fucking chills. It looks as if there was something behind the leaves. Can't get it with bare hands. Oh, that's okay. We have scissors for that. Aha! Woman toy figurine. A toy figurine looks like a middle-aged woman. I found another strange toy figurine in this house. So I can understand what does this mean. Nothing else in here? That's it? The whole purpose is to get the figurine? Oh. Okay, there's another area over here. I was gonna say... can't get there. It won't let me go over there. Bruh. Oh, here we go. Let me grab them. Uh, special design pliers can grip large objects firmly or be used to break solid things thanks to the very long handle. <laughs> 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 Can you go away? Okay, thank you. I got what I asked for. That's great. We're gonna head back in. I'm gonna go rip these teeth out of this fucking girl's head and bring them to the old guy. And then move on to the third and final piece that we need to get out of here. Oh my god. Okay. We got this. We've got this. We've got this. We've got this. What's the chittering for? I don't like that. All right, so the Where the fuck did she go? I'm not gonna survive this game. It's you and me both. All right, where are the bugs going? This way. They're gonna follow the the wretched smell, I'm sure. Oh no. The fuck was that? Was there a dead cat in there? Where's my fucking lighter? Bitch.
This is probably the, not the right thing to do. Let the scene level horror streamer judge, please. <laughs> I don't know what to fucking do. The little bugs are on the ground are gone. Did she go back in the fridge? Oh, she's back in the fridge. Well, that's good. So that was just to fucking freak me out. I had to earn the right to take her teeth out. Human tooth. The front tooth had just been cracked from the mouth of the woman's corpse in the refrigerator. The man downstairs said I needed this to get me out of here. Okay. Thanks for your uh, patronage. Let's get the fuck down to the old guy to give him this tooth. And then we'll work on the third and final part of our scavenger hunt. Which I'm sure is not any better than the first part we've been doing here. Again, wish I could sprint in this game. Alright, inventory. Where's the tooth? There's the tooth. What's up? I found the tooth. Hey, let me see. Good, good. Keep on working. There's still one more thing we need. Did you give me something this time? No. There's... Dude. You didn't give me anything this time. There's no key. I have pills. I have toy figurines and pliers. And some of these things have numbers on the back. That's a six. Does this guy actually have a number on him somewhere? Three. Okay. One, two, uh, three, six. Interesting. Okay. So, I wonder if I can use it to rip this lock off here. Because this, this, this is like the last door I can't, I get to go through. Not available. Fuck. Um... Oh, I only have the pliers now. Okay. I thought I still had the other, like, extractor things. Hmm. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So that's not going to work. Is there anything I could do with these chains? Like, nothing at all? And that woman left that was there that we recognized. It's also fucking raining out, so I don't really blame her. Why well, would you just be hanging out in the rain for no reason? Okay. Fuck, I really thought that was going to be the answer to get into that fucking room. We've done this room up ahead. So I'm going to double check it. Um... I can't go back in. Okay, so that means that room is done with then. That's fine. Ah, okay. Chapter 5. Alright, so we're going to hit pause here real quick. Um, I promised that I would actually take a look. Um... At blurb. Oh wait, I mean, Riz did say we already heard back though that it's an issue with walk on. Don't uh, don't mind me, everyone. We're just gonna we're gonna just slide right back over because Jug may or may not be kind of high at the moment. My bad. No comment. Okay. 
We're still here. Alright, so there's nothing else I can do in here. Can't take anything from anywhere in here. Absolutely nothing is of concern, apparently. Okay. I can't open up this door anymore. It's locked. Yep. 100% locked. Okay. Flies. Hello? I want to shut it off. She's gone again. Fuck. And it just shut off. Okay. I wish I had subtitles for that with the translation. I would have liked to have known what just transpired in that conversation. Um, but oh well. Nonetheless, that woman is missing again. Nothing in the bathroom is apparently important. Okay. And this room is basically off limits now. They just don't care anymore. Okay. Let's head back upstairs. See if there's anything up there before I hit the balcony. Hmm. No. Nothing around here seems to be jumping out on the screen. That's still locked. And again, we don't have a key. All we have is some unlabeled pills, a bunch of figurines, and some pliers. MacGyver this shit somehow. Sending me a loving lurk. Thank you, Remus. I appreciate you. Thank you. Hope you're doing well, by the way. Because I'm not. What the fuck was that? Oh, you had mentioned about the, uh, about Blurp. I went to pause to go, like, refresh the source and everything. And I'm like, wait, we had a conversation with Riz about this already. <laughs> Alright, so we're back in our room. Is there nothing I can do here? Okay. What's the point of having this room opened again if I can't do anything in here? Literally nothing. Strange. Pure innocence. Yeah, oh, please. Night, Dolly, what's up? Welcome in. Thank you for the 20 biddies. Hope you're doing well. Nobody's cell phone uses that ringer. Hello? 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 I'll fax you the new info I got. Alright, so the cell service is fucked. Can't say I'm surprised by that. Now I'm holding the cell phone? Nope. Cell phones now disappeared into the ether. Okay. Jesus. Sprite. The handwritten document faxed by... On the night the three people died that night, a young man was found hanged with the daughter of this family in her room. According to the investigation, this young man is the lover of his daughter, and on the night of the crime, he climbed to the second floor to enter the house... Looks as if they wrote, the family asked the press not to report this. Oh, okay. Hello? Why are you here? You're the mannequin from downstairs that wasn't supposed to be moving, but you were moving. Yeah, I need some hugs in a minute. I am not feeling good about this at all. <laughs> Why 
What the fuck? The advice of the shaman. This house is possessed by the death, so the whole family died if not stopped. Many other people living in the house will die. It was the daughter who hated her parents, so she told the two people's names to the death, so the death killed them. During the funeral, the daughter's coffin must be placed separately in a closed room, not parallel to the door. After the funeral, the daughter's body must be cremated. Then I will hold a ceremony to lock the soul forever so that it will not continue to cause more family members to die. The ashes will be kept in a secret place in this house. Hanoi, October 12, 1994. <laughs> Okay, what do we have here? Okay. I'm still not sure. I feel like I'm being timed and I don't like it. Male student toy figurine. Another toy figurine appeared. Now I'm almost certain that there's toy figurine are closer related to the spirits in this house. For sure. Wait, there's a question mark over here. Rope to hang something? Oh, no. It's going to be her. No. Male student, because he was, obviously was here. Oh, she goes there. Okay. And we're back to normal. Oh, shit. Oh, shit is right. She's still fucking there. Girl, I see... Ooh. You brought me something? What's that? A handful of hair. Oh, that's the last thing we need. Is this what the old man downstairs needs? This dummy trying to help me? It's not a dummy, that's a human being. Am I in? Uh, me? Okay, I guess I'm in a university. Confused. I heard that your family made an influence to force Long to drop out of school. Don't you know Long is an excellent student in our school? Your private matter affects the future of a person. Go back and talk to your family. It's a little aggressive, don't you think? You could have just told me this after class. After class. Wow, way to get my anxiety up through the f fucking goddamn charts. Yeah, super rude. I feel bad. What's this? Stop looking at me, Swan. Go sit down and pay attention to class, dickheads. And now she's gone. Okay, we have the hair, right? Handful of hair. Yep. Let's do it. Let's bring him the goods. Present. Yeah. Here's a lock of hair. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Chrysler. Merry Crisis. Okay, we're on the first floor. We're going. This guy is apparently going to get us out of here because he seems to know how. Or he's full of shit. I don't know. We're going to fucking find out, that's for sure. Oops. What's up? Sorry, I found a lock of hair. Hey, let me see. Good, good. Ha 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 ha. Probably got everything I need. Now you just go back home. Wait for me for a while. I'll call you after work. Ha 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 ha. That's not good. Does not sound good. Yeah. 
He wants me to go back to my room and just wait. I don't know how well this is going to work. It seems like there's multiple endings in this game, so I feel like I'm probably going to get the bad ending. I mean, I've got all these figurines, but I've only had to use two of them. You would think there would be somewhere I could bring those figurines. But so far, no fucking dice. No little white arrows in these rooms. Saying, hey, go here. Okay. I'm here. Now what? Oh, the phone's back. Can't do anything there. Nothing to touch with the lamp. Oh, gaming time. Hell yeah. What happened to the door right there? It's been so long and I still haven't heard anything from the old man. I have to go check his room out. Return to old man's room. God damn it. Couldn't we have just skipped ahead on this? <laughs> okay. Here we are. Also, is that a fucking... Oh, that's right, because the door was, like, clipped through me or some shit. Alright. We'll check on this jabron again. Be like, hey fuck's going on I can imagine him just not answering the door because he's actually not in there or he is and he's dead <laughs> fuck He was up to some shit in here. Praying to the soul. Every day at the time of the rat, you must perform an offering somewhere with the following offerings. One pig's head, one bowl of pig blood, one plate of white sticky rice, one glass of sticky rice wine. When making offerings, it is necessary to sincerely call the name of the person a hundred times who wants to call the soul. However, whether summoning is successful or not depends on the charm of the caller or the person living in this summoning area. If the charm of the caller or the person living in the summoning area is not suitable, may anger the ghost and endanger the person. If the necromancy is successful, not only can the ghost be seen, but they can also retrieve the objects they held before they died. That's fucking crazy. There's gotta be some other shit in here that explains this a bit more. A tattered old book, many pages torn off. Pa oh, page 563. After death, only the body is destroyed, but the soul still exists. Depending on the merits of life, that soul can go to heaven, to nirvana, to be reincarnated as a human or an animal, or banished to hell. Hell is a place of detention and punishment for evil spirits. In Buddhism, hell is divided into 18 levels. The souls are dragged to different levels according to the length and duration of the crime and the severity of the crime. A day in hell is 1,750 years on earth. It takes at least 10,000 years, that is 13.5 billion years, to escape one level to reach another one. Among those who are exiled to the hells, the most feared were those who, while living, lie to deceive others, causing the separation of other people's families and losing their lives. These people go to hell of tongue ripping. The little devils will open the mouth, then use steel pliers to fold and pull out the tongue. Then go to hell of trees of knives to be hung on trees made of sharp knives at the end, the soul hell of steamers. Locked in a cage and steamed, then let the cold wind blow through the body. What the fuck? So I'm not very chatty, I'm still waking up. It's 6 a.m. here. Dolly, it's fine. I appreciate you just dropping in and saying hey. I mean, 6 a.m. is pretty early. I will not be up at 6 a.m. tomorrow. <laughs> at all. Page 654. 
However, there is still a way for such terrible criminals to escape the hell. This is an esoteric method that has been applied by some people. Whether successful or not is unknown, but considering the horrors of hellish punishment, they still risk doing the ritual. Even the, even the perpetrator needs to get the objects belonging to the body of victim, usually hair, teeth, fingers, or limbs. If they can't get them because the victim passed away, they perform an ancient summoning ritual. Now, this ritual has been lost for a long time. No one knows how to perform it. And that's what he just fucking did, didn't he? Old man's key. Oop. Page 666. Six, six. God knows what time the teams will get me up tomorrow. Oh, yeah, for real. <laughs> yeah, great page number. Regarding the death, it has long been known that it is a bird-like animal with a red beak, which we've seen, which tortures and beats the soul late at night, forcing the soul to reveal the name of its father, mother, children to capture the souls of these people during a time when the loved ones of the dead are still in mourning. However, the folk, caught it, the folk call it Chung Tang, meaning many people in the same family dying at the same time. However, according to the rumors of the ancients, there is a case where the death doesn't need to torture and beat the soul, but the soul still reveals the name, names of relatives in the house to take revenge for being badly treated by family members. These are also cases where two or more people died in the same place. There's one person does not reveal anything, but the other person or people died in the same place reveals the name of the person's relatives to revenge. This case is known as killing with a borrowed knife, is a crime so serious that future generations of this offender may have to suffer retribution or have to atone for past mistakes? Wow. Hey, look, pills. I think I can actually grab them. Okay. What else is around here? Why are we making noises? It's just a fucking barrel. Oh. Oh, that's why. Okay. I'll be in bed early tonight, though. Oh, yeah. Good call. Hello? What do I fucking do with this? Like, I can't do anything here. I can't, like, grab your hand. Can't do anything with the lid. Like, I'm not missing anything obvious, am I? Like... Oh, yeah, where does this key go to? Alright, I'm gonna leave. Fuck it. So this could be the key for next door. Fucking finally. What the fuck, man? The door's never gonna get unlocked. All right, back into the house to peek around. Okay, so I know I've been in here. Wrong button. Okay, just wanted to make sure. Nothing else is down there for me. I can't use a key anywhere in here. Or the bathroom. Can't see shit in there. Check that shortly so I make sure it's not this door up here. And I'm pretty sure I've been in here and it was a similar situation of this the door locking behind me. I can't remember. Oh shit, okay. Ah, uh, okay, so this is gonna be... Do I have five of those figures one two three four five yep the problem is i don't know what the order it's going to be in though let's 
six. Hello? Six, three. Uh, oh, I went the wrong way. Six, three, one, two. Six, three, one, two. Those both ones. Six three two one one. Like, is there anything on here that mentions timing? Placement? Not really. Glitness rice flower. It looks like a solid. It looks like a schoolgirl wearing Vietnamese. So die. I oh die. Hmm. Maybe we just put the numbers in order. So one, one, two. One, one, two, three. Six. All right, we'll do one, one, two, three, six. No, okay. Um, well, they didn't give me enough clues to figure this one out. So, to the interwebs. <laughs> Excuse me. So no one made an, an individual video about it. They just make their complete walkthroughs. All right. Let me jump ahead and see if I can figure out where this is. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Apparently we're very close to the ending. Oh, the door's closed on this guy. So I'm going to have a different ending, I think. Shit. I'm going to check the wiki and puzzle solution. Tower of Hanoi we already did. What the fuck?
Go to the door, press E, or click the mouse. See if Dung can open the door. Walk around looking for the key. Watch Mr. Dung be spooked and breathe. Find the key and repeat step one. And that's it. The other thing is for the big tower game we already played. God damn it. I guess I'm watching another walkthrough really quick. Okay, open the door there. Shoot the shit. There's the barrel. She can't do anything at. There's no prompts or anything anywhere. But he's checking anyways, just in case. Okay. At least this walkthrough is very thorough. Like, I looked here, 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 and there's nothing. Yeah, I think if this is the correct ending, we're probably just a, a little ways away. All right, so let's go to that door. He tried the same thing, which we knew, I guess. Okay, here's the padlock. What are we punching in? Okay, I guess he's just taking a second to figure it out. Hmm. Looking at all of those. You have a big booty. Thank you for the lurk. Appreciate you. It's all good falling asleep. I take that as a compliment. Fuck, I missed the combination. One second. Okay. So from the bottom to the top, one, two, three, six, one. Okay, so we had the right numbers, just in a weird order. I don't understand how to get the order correct, but that's fine. One, two, three, six, one. One, two, three, six, one. Yep, there it is. One, two, three, six, four. Fuck. What the fuck is this? Dello, what the fuck? It looks like I have an urn of some sort. <gasps> Are they going to let me out? It's the next day. Because it's the urn of the... Of the couple that died, probably. They just want to be... You know, released properly here, I guess. Shit. 
Check, am I seeing this right? Do you owe eight hot sauces? I, I, yes, I do. Yes, it does look like an urn. Oh, I didn't do that. Madam, I brought you back to your parents. Okay, I'm assuming that's the good ending. Um, that old dude got fucking stuffed in that barrel, though. Lash banged. Yeah. Interesting story for sure. I don't want a lot for Christmas. There is just one thing I need. I don't care is. about the presents underneath the Christmas tree. I just want you for my own more than you could ever know. Make my wish come true. All I want for Christmas is you, yeah. You, yeah. I love the behind the scenes photos. Awesome. <laughs> Peace, bro. I'm busy. Man's got the tea kettle ready to go. He knows what's up. Ooh. Some fuds. Unfortunately, I have no idea what that says. Oh, you just finished the Vietnamese one. I did. I did. So that was good. There's five total episodes, it appeared. Chapter one is Nightmare, Chapter Two, The Death, Chapter Three, Ghost, Chapter Four, Who Are They? Who Am I? Chapter Five Ending. Oh, there's a prologue as well. So that's pretty good. Are there any what were the achievements for this game? Two hidden achievements remaining, and I never I didn't get either of them. And it's they're the only two achievements there are. Okay. How did I fuck this up? Uh, the death and Trung achievements. I'm just curious. Bad ending, true ending. Did I get a third ending that's neither? And that's why I didn't get one of the other. I wonder if there's more information on another page, perhaps. Let's see. Yeah, same thing, bad ending and true ending, but what's the difference? I don't want to see my progress. I don't really know how to get it. <laughs> Fuck. Huh. Or you got the normal ending. Yeah. It's almost like this is the normal ending and the other two were actual secrets. Oh. I don't know. I do not know why sirs and madams. What it is, what it is. Uh, but that's going to do it for the death. I'm glad we played it. It was a good game. I enjoyed it. Story was very interesting. Jump scares are very good. Yeah, let me get out of here. It's late. I need to. I need to go to bed. <laughs> uh, let's see who's on that we can raid. <laughs> Remus is playing Valheim. Zeotex playing Elden Ring. Nox is doing Satisfactory. 
GM's playing Mortuary Assistant. Hmm. You see hot sauces? Yeah, we had it with three of them today. And I have another fucking how many more is that? I didn't even look. Uh that's eight more hot sauces I owe. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> You got a chug. Not right now. Hell no, not right now. Um Okay. So let me let me hear what you guys want to do. Do you want to go watch Mortuary Assistant with Jam? Or do you want to go hang out with Knox when he's playing Satisfactory? He's playing with somebody else too. I don't know who that is. I'm assuming it could be Tyler because he's been playing it with Tyler for a while. For the love of God, someone say something. Bedtime for you. That is not a choice. <laughs> All right, I've made my decision. We're going to go hang out with Jam then. Going to buy scotch tomorrow. Anything. Cool. We're going to go hang with Jam Gamer then. I know, I, just, I, know I, I obviously would rate who I want to. It's one of the way people thought. I'm going to make sure you go into a place you want to be. All right, I'm just... Just trying to be supportive. God, I need some water. Yeah, get that all night long ready. Uh, also, get raids and get the uh, the raid message ready. If you're a subscriber, please use the top one with my lovely face in it. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, that's okay. Um, you can use one with the uh, the red raid pickaxe. Uh, that'll work fine. Please follow me on YouTube. Um. Uh, we got some good vids on there. Every Wednesday we come out with something fresh. Uh, TikTok. Shorts, you know, clips. Uh, Twitter. Stay updated there. If you're not in the Discord, join the Discord. Um, bunch of updates and discussions there. Lots of good fun. Riz, good night to you as well. Thank you for being here. No, thank you for being here, Candy. And you have a great weekend as well. I'm glad you are able to catch too, Arco. Appreciate you. Yes, Merry Christmas to everybody. Happy holidays. Um, I don't plan on taking any time off, really. But um, if anything, I'll be here tomorrow night. Sunday night, probably not. De actually, no, definitely not. We'll say definitely not. Merry Jugmas, everyone. And to all, a good night.